What's up guys? In this episode, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to put together a backyard discovery swing set. Now, there are many different types for this one right here, but the one I'm putting up uh, today is going to be right on the screen. And uh, I can tell you it's, it, it's not really that complicated. It does take a few hours. If you want to know exactly how much I charge this customer or how much you are looking to pay somebody to put this together for you and how the customer found me, well, I'll stick to the end and I'll let you know. Now, with that said, let's get started with this assembly. And that is the first thing you need to do with put, when putting anything together is you need to take everything out of the boxes. Lay everything out. Um, a lot of the parts for this swing set specifically, you're going to have different letters. You're going to have M, you're going to have N, and then also you're going to have J, and I forget which one other uh, Q, I believe. There's a few Qs in there. But anyways, yeah, let everything out, and it's going to take you easily probably about 20 minutes to 30 minutes to take everything out. Another thing that you need to do to make your life a little easier is also take all the uh, hardware out. There's going to be a bag like this, and you're going to have all the washers in there, all the nuts, all the screws, all the bolts, everything. Just try to get them together. Get all the washers together, all the screws together, all the bolts together because it will make your life a lot easier as you start putting everything together. If you just if you keep everything together in one in one bag, it's just gonna take way too long for you to find stuff as you start assembling the swing set. Now this specific swing set is the first thing I'm putting it together. And uh, this customer right here, he found me through Home Depot referral. When you buy the swing set, I don't know where it is sold. I know Home Depot sells it, and you click the uh, Pro Help as you're checking out. Well, they're going to call a person like me, and I'm going to give you an estimate. And uh, this person, this customer specifically, he didn't think that he was going to be able to put it together because he thought that it was very complicated. Anybody can do this. Uh, it may take you longer than others, but it's no big deal. I assemble a lot of stuff, and I can tell you this is no different right here. The good thing about this one set is the instructions. They are very clear. One tip that I got to give you about uh, the assembly job for this one is follow the instructions. Everything is pictured the way it's supposed to be laid out on the ground. If the holes are facing up, make sure your holes are facing up. If they're facing down, make sure they're facing down. And that way, as long as you follow the steps, you shouldn't have any issues. Now, the first step to put this swing set together is they wanted me to put this ladder together. Very easy to do, just follow the instructions. It will give you the, uh, the each piece of wood is labeled. It's gonna have a letter and a number, so just follow the instructions, no big deal. One tip though about the entire assembly job is do not over torque anything. The wood is very flimsy. Even though it's cedar, it's strong, it will split. All the holes are pre-drilled, but even if you over torque anything, it will split so keep that in mind when putting anything together i believe the hardest part of the job the thing that took me the longest about figuring something out was the slide now that right there on the screen right now is the slide that is the sides but also you're going to have the middle part and the middle part is going to have two shades it's going to have a shiny uh, side and then also going to have a dull side you want the dull side to be on the bottom now, if you read the instructions, instructions will tell you exactly what to do. And that is that piece of wood that you see on the screen, you need to screw it through the plastic, um, whatever you want to call that. And the instructions are not very specific on this part, but they do say to leave about half an inch gap at the bottom. And that's exactly what I did. You see that piece of wood over there is about half an inch from the end. And then you also got to pre-drill the holes and then you're going to bolt it through just like that. And the instructions also tell you that you need to fold it like that. Because the way this thing works is once you bolted the uh, wood into the uh, plastic, you have to assemble the slide like this. Just follow what I'm doing. You see in the half inch gap at the bottom, that is the reason why you have to lift half an inch gap at the bottom it just there's a track on the inside of the sides that fits right into the uh, plastic thing and then just like that that's how you put it together then there is a piece of wood that goes in the middle to give it some uh, support and then there are some special screws that you have to also use 
to put it together. Remember, do not over, -tor over torque anything because this is plastic, it will crack, it will break. So as soon as you feel resistance, just let go. And that's it. I think this was the hardest part of the job that took me probably the longest uh, to figure out because I really have to pay attention to the instructions to know exactly what they wanted me to do. Now, once you put this together, that's it. You put it to the side and then you're not gonna even use those things until you're almost done with the whole thing. The next thing you gotta do is you gotta assemble the main uh, beam and that is a swing set beam. So just there are some brackets in there the, some uh, specific bolts that you gotta use and then just put it together. Just follow the instructions. The instructions will tell you exactly what to do step by step. Um, like I said, the swing set itself was not really that complicated. It did take me about four hours. I was hoping that it would take a little less time, maybe like two to three hours. I was expecting this to take, but it did take about four hours. But those four hours included talking to the customer, unboxing everything, and also clean up so if you look at it that way it really it's not that long i think if i did it again i can probably easily get it done in two and a half to three hours since I, now i have experience this is the first time putting this together and i was able to get it done now let me give you a few tips about the whole thing a lot of the bolts you're gonna have millions and millions of bolts and every single little piece out there has its special bolt it's either longer fatter skinnier, shorter. I wish they would have just uh, used something uh, more generic where you can use the same washers for everything or the same uh, bolt uh, type for everything or at least most of the things. And also towards the end of the job, I even have some bags, some bolts that I didn't even use. They were labeled, but they were, I don't know, they were not in the instructions. It was just extra hard work. I had tons of extra hard work that I had left over once I got done. But on this one right here specifically, this is for the swing, um, and you just gotta drive some bolts through. All the holes are pre-drilled, and uh, all you gotta do is just put it together. The next part um, was to assemble the A-frame. Now this A-frame goes on the side of the swing set, and this is what supports the swing. Um, it wasn't really that complicated, it just followed instructions. Uh, you have to use special bolts that are a little longer, shorter for the bottom. But just put it together and uh, this part right here was very easy to follow, nothing special. Now when torquing the bolts down, remember, do not over torque them as the wood is going to split. And also the A-frame, all the pieces of wood, even if you're using screws, all the holes are already pre-drilled. And as you can see right here, uh, this is where the, main, uh, where the main beam attaches to the A-frame. And then uh, here, I'm starting on the side walls. Now, on this part specifically, you got to be very careful because uh, if you look at the picture on the instructions, it will have uh, holes that are supposed to be facing up. And uh, also it will have, uh, you're gonna see other holes that are meant to be used later in the assembly. If you get these pieces of wood uh, confused and then you assemble everything and one, once you uh, start on the next part, well, guess what? Your holes are not gonna line up and you're gonna have to take everything apart. I've learned the hard way from doing this in the past, so I always follow the instructions. And the good thing about instructions, like I said earlier, everything is pictured. Even the holes are going to be showing on the pictures and they're going to be showing facing up, facing left and whatever it is, everything is on the instructions. So just pay attention and do not make any mistakes, even if it takes a little longer. But in this part right here is where I found out how flimsy the wood was because uh, I over torqued one of the pieces and then it, it cracked. So um, this is where I learned that, you know, I need to be careful because otherwise uh, I'm going to be messing everything up. Uh, it wasn't really bad, um, so I didn't really have to worry too much about it. Now this was outside guys, and uh, I think the temperature was 115 degrees. Uh, that is about, what, 46 Celsius for those of you uh, outside the United States. Um, so it was hot. 
um, and that's why you see me wearing, you know, long sleeves and a hat and gloves because uh, it was hot. And that's one of the things you got to uh, take into uh, account when giving an estimate for a job like this. Uh, since it was the first time I was doing this job, I really didn't charge as much as I would have for other people. But, yes, it's not just about how easy it is uh, to do something. It's also about the conditions you're going to be doing it in. Anything that's going to be outside in the sun, I always charge more. But like I said, I just wanted the experience. I wanted to see how long this was going to take me. And um, I will let you know in a few minutes how much I charge for this. Now, when putting this together, there's going to be uh, four pieces of wood. And uh, those pieces of wood are actually uh, just like spacers where the floor uh, um, planks are going to be screwing into. Um, I showed that just a minute ago, but yeah, just make sure you follow the instructions. Don't get confused. I had an issue here, though, where I ran out of screws. And uh, the screws that I had left were actually longer. And they were actually uh, sticking out of the uh, other side of the wood if I drove them all the way in. So I had to open up a bag uh, for a different part of the project um, later on to use shorter screws because I ran out of the ones that they recommended to use. I don't know if that was a mistake, intentional, I have no idea. But the good thing about this um, swing set is even if you take parts that are meant for a different part of the project, like different size screws, you can still make up by, you know, using parts meant for a different pa um, part of the project. So it's no big deal. Uh, you can just make it work because that's going to happen to you. I don't know if that was a mistake from the factory or intentional. Uh, here, I'm trying to figure out how to put the screens together. And um, the way they work is you have to sandwich them between the two pieces of wood and you got to put a bolt through the main uh, frame and, you know, screw it from the back. Um, but yeah, so just follow the instructions. Like I said, super easy to do. And here is where uh, I'm putting the ladder together. Just two bolts and holds it in place. Now, I had an issue right here. Okay, so you see the, uh, the long piece of wood on the bottom. The ladder was supposed to line up with that because there are some pre-drill holes in there. It did not line up. So my guess is I tried to make my uh, frame square as much as possible. But you have to understand the whole thing is, has pre-drill holes. So it should all line up. But, you know, it did not. I tried getting a square as much as I could. Uh, it looked like it to me, but even then, it still was not working out. So on the bottom of the ladder, you're going to have two bolts, one on the left and one on the right, and they're supposed to line up. Well, they did not. So I had to drill my own holes and make it work. And then right on my right foot right now, you can see there's a piece of wood that's sticking out. You're going to see it later in the video. Uh, so I had to cut that extra piece off because it just I could not get it to line up with the pre-drill holes. It just didn't work regardless of what I did. So I just made it work. Um, pre-drill the holes and then cut off the extra. Now this piece right here, um, I made a mistake. Uh, when I put the floor down, the planks, there was a pre-drill hole that was supposed to hold a bracket so that um, piece of wood uh, right there that's supposed to hold the handle later on uh, there's a bracket that screws into the plank on the floor uh, well the hole was not lining up with it so I realized that I put the plank uh, on the floor upside down um, backwards so I had to you know unscrew that and put it back together the way it was supposed to so here there's another issue that I had um, and uh, the holes were not lining up on the bottom so I had to pre-drill my own hole and make it work uh, there was a little of, uh, excess uh, piece that was sticking out. You can see it on the screen right now. Um, I left it as is because it really didn't matter. It looked just fine. Now on this uh, part over here, i just putting together the frame for the uh, uh, roof uh, shade screen that's supposed to go on top. Uh, just follow the instructions. Uh, very easy to do. Uh, I think the hardest part was just uh, standing in the sun for four hours. Um, but other than that, just um, everything, like every little part of this uh, swing set has its own 
uh, set of bolts and washers and everything else. I think that was the hardest part of the thing, just trying to find the right uh, bolts, screws, and everything else because everything had like a million parts. Um, I wish they would have just uh, used the same for, you know, side screws for everything, you know, even if they were longer or shorter, but everything was different. Now this part over here, I'm putting the slide together. Uh, I was surprised. I thought that was anything else holding it in place, but in reality, it was just literally two bolts that you screw onto the floor, and then uh, you gotta get some um, nuts on the bottom and just hold it together. But there's nothing else holding it in place besides those two bolts. Uh, you will see in just a minute. I'll show you what they look like. I had to pre-drill those holes myself. Uh, myself and then uh, also I could not find uh, bolts long enough to go through the f uh, through the bottom because I ran out so I don't know what the deal there was but let me show you real quick what it looked like so there's the uh, the slide right there shiny side up and you see the two bolts right there holding it in place that's it that's the only thing holding it in place there is a piece of wood right there that's sticking out I cut that off just to make it look nice um, but other than that, and uh, the little issue I had in the back, um, I didn't really have any other issues putting this together. Um, what else? Uh, oh, the uh, the set comes with uh, anchoring um, things that you can stick in the ground so it doesn't fly away. So I put those on the ground, and then the customer didn't want me to finish it because he said he's going to move it later. So I just left it as is. I started it in the ground. You can see right there. Um, but he said that he was just going to leave it as is because uh, he's going to be moving the swing set in the future. Um, other than that, super easy to do. This little part right here, um, pay attention. Longer bolts on the bottom, on the top, shorter ones on the bottom. That, I make sure to tighten that, that up. All in all, it wasn't really that complicated to put together. Um, like I said, the customer found me on Home Depot referral, and I charged them $300. How did I come up with $300? Well, I went on the um, review section of the swing set on Home Depot, and then I saw some people saying it took them 14 hours to put it together. Other people said it took them just like a few hours. Um, so I looked at it, it looks very simple, and then I just told myself I can probably do it in about maybe two and a half, three hours, easy. But in reality, it took me four hours. And like I said earlier, that included cleanup, unboxing, and all that, so four hours. How much will, will I charge for the next job? Um, well, this swing set, um, I think it's about 500 bucks. Um, so you gotta take that into account as well when you know giving uh, quotes to uh, assemble anything and also if you're gonna be outside or inside so I think if I was to do this again I would not do it for anything uh, less than four hundred and fifty dollars especially since I was in the Sun for the entire four hours order than that super easy to do um, you can do it I can do it um, if you like the video don't forget to like it and uh, subscribe and I will see you next time.